We're cooking a rump roast today. We're gonna use mustard and reduce rub for a binder. We are going to use our jealous devil lump of charcoal and some pecan wood. Champ, hi, how are you? Apollo, hi, how are you? Regardless, we're gonna clean up the meat here, use the mustard as a binder, and then our Rudy's rub. I use Rudy's rub on so much chicken, pork, beef, I don't care. I'll put Rudy's rub on it. It's got a nice, spicy little flavor. It's not overpowering at all, but it tastes really damn good. In terms of how the bathroom is going, I did caulk around the edges. I said caulk with an L, okay? And I did cut in and made it real nice and clean. Other than that, not um, a lot of progress compared to my last video. I do have to get a door jam and then I can start putting in the flooring to prepare for the tile. Regardless, um, you don't need a lot of lump charcoal to get a really good temperature um, within your actual smoke chamber here. I'm at 180 degrees already with just that little bit of lump charcoal. My grass, my yard. Um, we're starting. We're starting to. We're starting to care about it right now. We're gonna start um, progressively getting things ready for the warmer months here. It's roughly 70 degrees already, um, currently as I'm recording this, and my neighbor has a lot of terrible grass. So that that crab grass is coming over to my yard, and I don't like that. Regardless, we're gonna start getting our smoke kind of kind of pushing through here in our smoke chamber. You don't need a lot of smoke to get a really good smoke flavor on your actual meat. I only I'm only gonna smoke this rump roast for two hours. But then I'm gonna throw it into my crock pot. Anyways, got the smoke going here. Very nice, very nice. Um, time to put the meat on. I got the smoke kind of kind of going the way I like it. It's not too cloudy. It's kind of got like a nice blue tint to it. And we're gonna put the meat probe in there to see where we're at as we're smoking it. Not that it's super important, but I just wanted to know where my meat was gonna be internally. And right now it's 47 degrees, 172 inside. So, this crabgrass, man. Um, this time lapse is probably over uh, a half hour period and I only put a very small dent into all of the crabgrass I want to actually get pulled out before um, you know it starts getting warmer and it starts doing even more damage to my yard um, like I said if it's green in February I don't want to see it it shouldn't be there so I'm pulling it all out I did water my yard before I did this so the, the ground is a lot softer and as you can see here that is one root of a like a bundle of crabgrass there that, that that's not the grass i want so i did do um, eventually two bucketfuls two 10 gallon bucketfuls of crabgrass and i barely put a dent in this very small corner of my yard it was um pretty tedious but you, you know what we got to do it you can see here that that's five gallons of grass right there essentially and it barely did anything not a fan so update on the meat it's been roughly an hour uh almost two hours here I just want to get a nice smoke ring on my meat before I put it into my crock pot. Um, I'm putting it into my crock pot now because I didn't want to babysit my grill all day because I wanted to get other things done. So in terms of the crock pot recipe here, two cartons of beef broth, I guess you can call it. Three jalapenos for some spice, a little bit of kick. We did quarter and onion as well. We threw it in there um, for seasoning. I put like, I guess a tablespoon of salt in there. Um, I did do some Dale's steak seasoning, uh, marinade there, which is really good. Just a dash of it. And then I just set it and forget it for the next four hours. Now, um, I didn't know this beforehand, but a rump roast, because of how tough of a piece of meat it is, requires a lot longer of a cook time, low and slow to get it super tender. I wanted it to be able to be pulled apart for tacos. Instead, I just kind of sliced it and then cubed it. But you can see that really nice pink smoke ring. Um, it had a really good flavor. It's just a, a little dry. Regardless, I did use um, some of the juice. Hey, I ain't worrying. Some of the juice from the crock pot um, afterwards once I kind of cubed it up. And it, it, I mean, it still tasted really good. But a rump roast, I've been told 10 to 12 hours in your crock pot. Fun fact, I didn't even show you the finished product here on my tacos. But they were damn good let me tell you I, I felt like i had a lot more to show you guys today turns out i didn't have a lot to show you um i have some plans though for next week's video we're gonna do some more work on the bathroom which is right behind me over there thank you guys so much for watching um the rum pros though it's gonna take a lot longer than i thought to get it nice and tender to where i can like shred it 10 to 12 hours it's a tough piece of meat it was good but it was tough thank you guys so much for watching and y'all stay sweaty